This video is brought to you by OpenVPP and IANA. OpenVPP, a global virtual power plant for electric vehicles. See vehicles charging across the world and zoom in to see real-time charging status in what aims to be the world's largest vehicle virtual power plant. OpenVPP allows you to track charging history, energy usage, and daily trips, comparing your usage versus others day-to-day -day and month-to-month. -month. With OpenVPP, we're working together to showcase the potential of EV charging to electric grid operators. There may even be future coordinated EV charging rewards coming soon. So sign up today at world.openvpp.energy. It's completely free to join and takes under 60 seconds. And IANA, the EV charging network brought to you by the world's leading automakers. IANA is raising the bar on what it means to charge. We're talking a 400 kilowatt minimum nationwide network built with the customer in mind. Fast, reliable, affordable, every single time. Hello and welcome to the first out of spec reviews video of 2026. And I'm sure plenty more to come. Uh, last year, especially pretty much for the whole year, you guys heard from us. And at the beginning of all the videos on this channel, uh, you heard about IANA and, you know, essentially it was this little startup uh, charging company providing uh, a, amazing DC fast charging stations for you guys and us EV drivers. And we were lucky enough to actually host the first ever semi public launch with IANA. This was actually at the end of 2024. Um, we had an out of spec meetup in apex, North Carolina, and we loaded the site up and stress tested it. And they got a ton of feedback from EV drivers. And, you know, it was exciting when Iona launched because, okay, the promise that there would be a truly fantastic DC fast charging network built to accommodate any vehicle with high power charging in great locations or building their own amenities, um, just, just seemed exciting and we needed it. And guess what? Through 2025, IANA absolutely delivered. It was one of those, you know, slow growth situations. And then at the month of December, especially the exponential growth was insane. Um, they opened so many new sites and now IANA at the time of this recording, recording it on the 1st of January has almost 100 charging locations, but thousands of of bays under contract or in construction right now. What seemed to be this little startup charging company backed by some automakers and, you know, certainly a great vision for providing electric car drivers, the best charging experience. Uh, it's real. And it's like actually getting to be insanely uh, exciting. And so I want to do a little update video on IANA just, um, they were a great partner of ours in 2025, but regardless, I'm an enthusiast of EV charging and I think uh, it deserves a, a full video just talking about what they did last year and some of the expectations for 2026 that are coming. So join me as we have a little podcast style video for the start of 2026. <laughs> Well, guys, it has been an exciting 2025. We moved to North Carolina. So many things happened, and I can't thank your support. I uh, can't thank you for your support enough. It's been wonderful, and you'll see a bunch of new faces on the channel and a bunch of new videos coming um, starting now in January of 26. We are, um, you know, you might hear in the media, the news, whatever, EV viewership, EV interest, EV sales, all of the things are in the decline. Uh, I think in the long run, still electric cars, plugins, whatever will still be relevant for many years to come and it will accelerate on a global scale. So you're going to see some interesting things from us in terms of European content. William is going to be really pushing the gas hardcore down, uh, down hardcore. It should be really fun. And uh, we'll have a bunch more people joining us here in North Carolina at the track as well. So get ready for a refreshed out of spec, just maybe renewed excitement from our side, I think is the best way to put it. Speaking of excitement, Ayana, well, they were one of our best partners for 2025. And I love every brand who works with us because we really are selective about who out of spec works with. And I hope you guys, yeah, I know we have a lot of ads in our videos. Sometimes truly it pays the bills. It's how we can keep making videos for you. And it's how we can do what we're trying to do this year in 2026 and bring you the best content. So I appreciate your patience um, for some of the ads, but I also hope that you realize like these are great companies that we are working with providing you guys a great service. And occasionally you'll see an ad in there for like 
a shaver or something. Yeah. Okay. Occasionally brands want to work with us for one or two videos and we'll, we'll do that from time to time. But you know, the, the video, the, the ads that roll at the beginning of the videos, that's how we keep the lights on over here at out of spec. And I cannot thank Ayana enough for being a great partner. It was a little bit of a, you know, too good to be true situation where, you know, when we first started working with them and when they built their first apex North Carolina site, we're like, are they all going to be this nice? Are they going to be able to build as quickly as they say? And I got to tell you, the team at IANA have delivered when it comes to providing electric car drivers the best possible experience out on the road. I've personally taken many trips and shown you on the motoring channel and more to come of us stopping at IANA sites and they just work. Not only do they just work, they're working well. They're in pretty great locations. And the ones that aren't in great locations have wonderful amenities. There's actually only one site that comes to mind that kind of sucked, which was in Kansas. I went to, and it was like, yeah, it was under canopy and it was lit, but there was nothing around there. Apparently Ayana agreed and they actually bought the abandoned building that was on site and they're going to build their own like food thing, some sort of uh, amenity situation out of that building. So like these are hardcore EV drivers trying to build the best charging sites out there. So let's browse through their website because I'd like to talk to you about some stuff. I also want to give a huge shout out to my buddy, Tom Malagny, um, and also Misco Electric and um, the Electric Duo and a bunch of other folks that that we hung out with because we actually went to an IANA day. Their headquarters are right near the out of spec track. And uh, all of those folks provided fantastic coverage, behind the scenes, interviews, some other stuff about the um, sort of looking back on 2025 at IANA. And I have some clips on that that I'll probably post on the Out of Spec Bits channel. At some point, we've been a little bit slammed with editing um, only because time in our editor actually broke his neck. We'll have to talk about that in a future video, um, on my electric motorcycle. So I, he, he's going to make a good recovery and he's feeling better. And he's actually going to start back up and editing this week, but we all wish time in. Well, I'm actually going after I shoot this video to go visit him. Uh, he lives about three hours away. So I'm heading over there to go check in on time and, and, uh, we'll, we'll film a video together at some point soon, but he's doing well. And he appreciates everyone who's reached out to him on his social media on X. Um, so yeah, we, we went to this Ayana thing and it, it was such a cool media day where they talked about the numbers of what they've been doing in the investments and Tom and everyone else have covered that great. And I have all the footage that I've got to put together from it, but ultimately let me just tell you, like, here's a quick Ayana update. There's a very low key video. These are the folks that are running Ayana. Uh, it's Seth, who's their CEO, who's become a good friend of mine and just a really awesome guy. Um, a lot of experience in the EV charging world, a lot of experience knowing what not to do at some of his previous jobs in terms of just looking at the start of new networks and how they've been run. And I think he really was like the right guy to run this company. He's super chill. He's his team loves him. He's a visionary. And this dude is the guy uh, to run Ayana because he's, he built an amazing team. You have Derek, Ricardo, Ellen, and Aaron, all sort of that SVP level right up there in terms of the, who's running the company. Ricardo and I have, have been able to have some great dinners together. He's just a great guy. I love Ricardo because he's the nerd over there. Um, so he and I are always nerding out about hardware technology. Are they going to go to an Alpitronic split system? Are they going to keep it all in ones? And and we should get Ricardo on the channel more. Um, and and he's a he's a great dude. Everyone else there, of course, is wonderful as well. But Ricardo, he's my dude when it comes to um, uh, you know nerding out about electric cars and charging. The company is. Uh, run or funded by eight automakers. And I've, I've had the chance to speak with almost everyone on this panel right here. And uh, they're all fantastic people. And I've actually done interviews with almost all of them as well. And that I will leave, uh, make another video with talking to them about, you know, what's coming up this year, what they're focusing on. And uh, th these folks are great. They do check-ins, but really it's these folks that are running the IANA team all the time. So this is what I think is the most impressive thing to look at so far is the map. Currently, this is what they've got. If we looked at this time last year, there would literally be one station here. There was like Arizona. There was one down in Houston. And I think they had like four or five sites at the end of 2024. And even if you looked halfway through 2024, you know, it takes a long time to build a charging site. You have to 
find the location, acquire the land or lease the land. In Ayana's case, they're actually buying most of the land. You have to then get electrical utility upgrades, go through permitting, get this equipment shipped there and installed and then uh, commissioned and powered up and, and open for public use. At the same time that they're trying to build this huge network, they're also building their team and building, um, you know, a, a fantastic network. But they're doing this across like thousands of bays. So I think it's super impressive that most of these stations came online like just recently. If we head over to their X account, let me just show you this really quick because this will blow your mind. Let's head over here. We've got just looking from... Um, I don't know, let's say December 12th. This is what's going live basically right away. You have Janesville, Concord, Cordell, Ashland, Blackwell, Carlin, Festus, Raleigh, and Brooklyn Park. The, that's December 12th. Then you've got more map pins going live. Boom. These are what's coming soon, I should say. That's under construction. Then you've got, boom, more coming soon. Then you've got the next day again, more coming soon. Or is this, this is what got cheaper. They did a holiday pricing thing. It was really wonderful. Um, here's your live updates, ready to juice up your cars already. This is December 20th. Boom, 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 boom. That's five sites in Florida live, ready to go December 20th. Then they've got four more under construction, Ohio, Florida, New Jersey, Pennsylvania. Then They've got here going live, Arkansas, Illinois, and two in Missouri. Boom. Then you've got December 30th. You've got fences up. You got three sites in California that are going under construction. $250 million investment into California when it comes to charging. Closing out the year in the best way. This was yesterday, bringing you more live rechargeries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight rechargeries live yesterday. That's crazy. So I think they're up to like over 80, definitely over 80 stalls, close to 100 by the year end. I think that was their goal was 100, sorry, locations, 100 locations by year end. It's just an insane growth. And they had more yesterday as well. What the heck? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So there's a total of 20. And then they added again, no way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yesterday alone, they announced 28 locations. Am I getting that right? Yeah, 2025. That's not coming forwards. That's what's live right now. That's insane. So all I can say is the charging landscape between now and the end of 26 is going to look crazy. Currently, you can pretty much make a cross-country trip using Ayana. And there's a couple gaps out here that might be pretty difficult. It might be doable with a long-range car. I think we should do that. I think we should do a cross-country trip only using Ayana, just to look at the experience across the country. They've been such a great partner of ours, and we've had such good close conversations with them about what the EV driver experience should be when they get to charging stations. I use them as my testing locations. Like it's a network that we are really close with. We launched the first, um, you know, public charging experience with them when we uh, launched the Apex site. And it's just so cool. Really, all this video boils down to it's so cool that they kind of took a gamble on us and we kind of took a gamble on them to say like, yeah, this is real and they're going to build this amazing network. And it kind of seemed a little bit dreamy. And uh, in reality, they've kind of done it. And, and they're continuing to do it and they're going to build an insane amount of chargers over the next one, five, 10 years. I love that they're privately funded in the sense where they don't rely on any government programs to build their charging sites. That's great. And so, um, you know, even in the context of a lot of these automakers maybe backing off or saying EVs aren't, you know, totally the future. If you just look at the cars that are on the road today, they still need charging sites like this. And I'm also not one to really buy into this whole, like EVs aren't the future hype that's, that's going around out there. I, I think it's just a, a little dip. Um, there's always a little bit of a lag period, of course, between like the actual sales numbers and what people are responding to, uh, in public, in, in media. And so I, I think we just keep our heads down. We push forward, we keep reviewing and testing electric cars on this channel 
and um, of course, working with great companies like Ayana. And we're going to do some cool things together in 2026 with them. So I guess this really just boils down to we kind of took a gamble. They kind of took a gamble and it seems to have worked out and they've built some incredible sites across the country. If you've been to an Iona charging location, let me know what you've thought about it. Again, I've been to so many of them, and only one time did I think, eh, not that great, and then they're building their own food restaurant situation on that site to remedy that problem. It just, I can not imagine a network that could launch this fast, scale this hardcore, be this reliable, and be run by some of the, the best EV people I know. So um, they didn't ask me to make this video, by the way. I just kind of woke up today. I was like, let's do an Iona video because I, I looked at this map last night and I was just blown away by the progress. So more videos to come with them. Just a little quick one. I didn't actually plan to even post a video today on this channel, but uh, here we are. And thanks for a great year last year. Um, I know we were a little bit sporadic on the video uploads because we were moving and a bunch of stuff was going on, but we're here. We're settled in. We're locked in in North Carolina. We've got some cool travel coming up. CES is next week. I'm going to Sweden right after that, then Norway. And um, we'll have some great winter EV content coming your way. So stay tuned. Road trip's coming. Eastern Edge is being edited. Um, sorry about that going slow. We're, uh, we're full steam ahead. Thanks for watching. Thanks for a great year. Let's hope for another good one, even better one. This one, we need it to be. And uh, we'll see you on another one again soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.